What is up YouTube? We are back with day two of this hybrid mini series that I told you we we're gonna do about. So today, hopefully you can hear me a little bit better. So today we have got cardio and abs. It's what I do on a Tuesday. Sometimes I train legs, but if I am close to either going on holiday or I am going for a shoot, like I said before, I'm going to LA, I will take away my leg training session to prioritize cardio because I do 45 minutes every day, mainly on the cycling bike, um, but twice a week I will run. So Sunday's running session is a bit harder than Tuesday's running session, but at the moment Tuesday is just a 45 minute light running session. I'm gonna run you through everything I do prior, during, and post um, to maximize one, my effort, my recovery, and also not to push that heart rate too high so that it's gonna get me into any sort of extreme fatigue whilst I'm in a dieting phase. But what I will do is start with, I don't actually have this first. I know quite a few people have this before they go running. I'm not gonna have it before I go running. I'm gonna have this um, during the run. I'll talk to you about that a little bit more when, I'm, when I go running. But the main reason I wanted to start the intro of the video is I wanna talk about this little concoction here. So. Anybody that's followed my channel or follow me on socials knows what Oxy Shred is. It's a thermogenic fat burner, best number one best selling fat burner in the world for a reason. Unbelievable when you're dieting, it really helps with appetite control, helps with your mood. It's got um, like a mood booster matrix in it that obviously makes you feel good. So quality when you're on low calories. And then obviously the pre-workout, which I spoke to you about in the previous video, I you're only meant to take one scoop, well, max is two scoops of this, and it says to not exceed, what was the recommended thing? Not that I really listen to these, but I should. On non-training day, take one scoop of 10 ounces of water. On training phase, you can take two. So I'm gonna take, just because I'm scared about the extreme level of caffeine, if I have a scoop of each, I'm gonna have technically one whole scoop of this, and half a scoop of this, and then I'll put the rest of this in my big jug, but I'll talk about that post-workout. So yeah, I'm gonna get this down, and then I'll show you what running gear I do and how I pre-warm up for my running and abs day. So yeah, let's get into it, I'm excited. Right, so, it is hot, very hot, um, like 20, I don't know what it is, I'm not even going to try and guess, but it's hot. I'll probably end up taking this off when I'm running. I don't normally like to take my phone with me when I run, I like to be completely kind of unreachable, um, but obviously we're filming content today, so I will bring my phone with me. Normally, I, well, it's already done, but I pre-download my running playlist to my Apple Watch and then just sync my headphones to my Apple Watch, leave my phone at home and run. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to go back inside and get a hat because my hair's quite long. I need to go to the barbers and I don't want sweaty hair smashing me in the face when I'm running. So we're going to go and get a hat. Um, but before I do that, um, warm up. I spend a good five minutes or so just stretching my my quads to be fair my body is still pretty sore from jet skiing my legs especially so i'll spend uh some time stretching my quads not too much because i'm not i don't use my quads too much when i run i know that sounds a bit weird but i try and find more heels so i'm working my glutes and my hamstrings i'll stretch both of my quads out for a little bit and then i will do um my hamstrings groins and glutes so i will go and get a hat i'll video my warm-up and then i'll explain to you how i start my run
So the first, I'd say maybe even a kilometer, five minutes, six minutes, I really just take my time, warm into the run. You don't want to go out all guns blazing unless you're trying to set some sort of personal best. But as I said to you before, I'm just doing this cardio to kind of bring the shreds in a little bit better. I don't want to do anything too taxing. So I'm going to warm up into this now, first five minutes, just nice and slow. And then, uh, yeah, I'll uh, touch base with you when there's the next update on the run. We're uh, 17 minutes in, on a nice little autopilot vibe. It is roasting, but we've got this nice hill to attack up here. And then I'll probably check in in like 30 minutes. So yeah, see you in a bit. Right, so it is so hot. I am going to get this vest off in a minute, but we're at the halfway mark, 22 and a half minutes. I'm um, going to have a science and sport lemon and lime flavor. These are the ideal, perfect little glucose hit, fast releasing carbohydrates, just to give you that extra push to the end. So yeah, I'm going at a half decent pace, but clearly it's not conversational. I'm guessing that's the heat and the lack of water I've had. I probably should drink more water, but I don't like feeling bloated when I run, so. Get this down, see you in a bit. Ooh. Right, so that is the run done. I look an absolute state. 45 minutes of running. I think it was like seven points. I'll put it on the screen. It was like 7.4K. It's funny. Obviously, the heat today has obviously had a huge impact on me trying to control my heart rate. So I try and keep my heart rate on a Tuesday below 150. I don't want to go above 150 once. I don't care how slow I go. My heart rate doesn't go above 150 because I don't want it to be too taxing. For me to keep my heart rate below 150 today, I was running a late five early six per kilometer. So normally I'm running a late four, mid fives between that stint when it's not as hot. So obviously don't look at the numbers and get caught up like, oh, you're not fast. Like that was rubbish or that was pointless because I wasn't near my best. This isn't meant to be your best. You should only be running and you should be happy. This should be enjoyable. I'm hot, but I had one of the best runs mentally ever. And if you want a little hack, I find that I have a lot of mental clarity when I'm running. So what I try and do is, hang on, let me just make sure I don't get run over. So, nice Ferrari. Anyway, law of attraction. I was thinking about them earlier, but anyway, I get to that. So mental clarity when I'm running is insane. And what I do is I've actually saved my own number as a contact in the phone. And any like cool ideas, that I come up with when I'm running, which is normally the, the time I'm most creative mentally. I then tell, I'm just gonna call him Sid, for example, to send a text message to me. And then I just, just talk as I run and I send myself a message and then I'll sit home, I'll recap what it says and hopefully it's made a good representation of what I was actually saying because sometimes it's like it's written in a foreign language. But yeah, that is, kind of how I get through the run. Good playlist, mental clarity. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go in, hydrate, feed the dog, and then we're gonna get into abs. All right, so first exercise with the spiders. There's, there's definitely spiders everywhere. There's cobwebs all over the place. But normally I go for a run or I do this at the gym, the ad part, but I thought for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do today's um, workout here. So. Just 10 straight leg raises. Three. Yeah. This one's a bit different to the one I use at RIPT. So when I do my cardio and abs, uh, when I'm at RIPT, I will show you the different version of this that I do. So I do, um, 10 leg raises, and then let me flip this round for you. 
And then on the bench, on the bench here, we just have a water break. I feel like I've got spiders on me. Hey ho, so this one, very similar. So you're gonna do all the way up and then point your toes in the air, so down. When you get in line with your body like this, just push up and use your core. So three, four. So the seated, I don't even know what you want to call this, laying leg raises, um, I do that as well. And then, so I do 10 of these, 10 of these, and then, let me do it this way around, might be a bit. And then, knees to chest, extend your legs out, knees to chest, extend your legs out, and do 20. Let's see. Eight, nine. hips are feeling it after that run um, so then after I do that what I normally do is I might try and find a mat um, actually that's no, no problem I'm gonna save some exercises that I do for my for my general ab uh, routine for Thursday's um, cardio and ab session well, technically Thursday is my rest day, but I'll tell you what I do on my rest day, which is obviously different to what most people do. I don't really like to rest, but it's technically a rest day. Um, and then the next one I will do is, hmm, I don't even have it in here. If I, hmm. This is some uh, ghetto production stuff, you know? None of this premium 4K cinematics. This is garage dinosaur weight style workout. So, this one, this is a 10 kilo dumbbell. You're just gonna go all the way back and above your head. So, make sure your shoulders touch here and really crunch up. Ten of them. I will do this circuit four times. I much prefer, obviously, my Thursday one when I'm at the gym. But this one is just a make do kind of at home style. It depends on. The, I'm trying to stay out of the sun because I've been in the sun for like an hour now this morning, um, and I'm conscious I haven't drunk too much water and I might get sunburnt. But anyway, sometimes I will do some um, normal sit ups outside so this is my technically running and abs i'm going to smash through the rest of this workout and then i'm going to tell you what i do post um post run and abs wow i feel fatigued this morning So, abs is done. The first thing I do after I've finished abs is get my greens in, oxy greens. Um, one scoop is pretty much everything you need from your daily green intake. I will then show you what I put in my big jug of water. And we're gonna get this down. And then the good thing about obviously non-training like non days, this is technically a non-training day for me, cardio and abs. I try and push that first meal as far 
away into the day as possible because I'm the type of person where I eat when I'm bored, that's the problem. So if I can keep myself busy in the morning, I still have a lot more food to eat through the rest of the day. So it's now half 12, and I will probably won't eat my first meal now for at least another half an hour, I'll try and hit that one o'clock mark, and I'll, I was up at like nine. So that's a good stage for me. Um, normally on a training day, I've done my cardio, I've eaten, and then I've had like a little pre-gym snack. Um, or I'm already in the gym with a first meal in and then I'll be probably eating in about an hour when I get home so I'm normally on my second meal by now give or take so yeah that's an update I'm gonna drink this and then I'll show you what I put in my big jug maybe not right so this is what I put in this two litre jug. I've already drunk about a litre and a bit, I think, now. Because I've said to you before, I was uh, not hydrated. This is branch chain amino acids, essential amino acids uh, called Beyond. It is peach candy wings flavor by EHP Labs. Eight grams of BCAA, 10 grams of EAA, 1.5 grams of l tyrosine, and 50 milligrams of Senactiv. So recovery, endurance, hydration, electrolytes, focus, and performance. So it's got, so supposedly muscle preservation comes from the 50 milligrams of Senactiv, which is a scientifically validated to promote energy and muscle preservation. So it's hydrations and the 1500 milligrams of tyrosine and huperzine A is a super matrix for a razor sharp dialed in gym session to smash out your goals. So, personally, I just take, in this big jug of water, about two, oh, I spilled some bugs, um, <laughs> two and a bit scoops of this. I have been trying other flavors. I did have raspberry refresh, dragon fruit, which was really nice. Um, they do a lemon sherbet one, which I wasn't too keen on, but <coughs> peach candy rings and dragon fruit are probably my favorite. This needs no introduction. If you're watching this channel and you know anything about gym, five milligrams of creatine, job done. There is actually one supplement that is, that is missing from this, and that is glutamine. Um, glutamine is one of my favorite supplements, only because it was the one supplement I was taking and I didn't know whether I actually thought it was like beneficial. I didn't know if it was, I read obviously lots of good, oh, I've made such a mess. Um, I, I never really understood like, is it beneficial? Like obviously I know it's beneficial, I read studies on it. I'd done a lot of research on the product before I used it. Um, and I never really felt like it was making much of a difference like I was taking it I took it all through marathon training like two years ago I've been taking it for ages it was only when it's been out of stock recently this last maybe like I feel like it's been like six months now where it's been out of stock is when I realized how important it was to this little stack um, instantly felt like recovery was a bit slower felt like I was achy a bit more like Dom's was was more um, can't even think of the word doms was more uh present that's the word more present um so yeah I'm, i might have to buy it from another supplier as opposed to ehp labs because they're out of stock but yeah this is what i have in my big jug of water give it a good shake up this really helps me get fluids down as well so like i'll finish this in the next like two hours and then i'll fill up that one in the corner and crack on with that um, just to recap, obviously, for the rest of this video now, before I sign out, um, I use Nike Running Club um, for my running tracking, shall we say. Um, just a personal preference. I know there's Strava, there's My Runner, whatever it's called as well, out now. So, personal preference. Obviously, if you want any help with running, please do hit me up in the comments. Um, please do ask i've got my i've still got my marathon training program 
on my laptop. So if anybody wants it, hit me up in the comments um, and I'll be happily fire over what I did um, for a sub four marathon. Um, other than that, yeah, this is what I do on a cardio and abs day. Come on. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna uh, reply to some emails, go get some steps in. That is another thing actually, I nearly forgot to say before I closed out the video. I will now go through that, that workout. So if I go into my app here, all right, and I will work out my cadence. I will time my cadence, which for anyone that doesn't know is steps per minute. I will times that by the duration of the run, 45 minutes. It will give me the total number of, or the average number of steps I've done in that run. I will then take that away from my daily step count because my daily step count of 10,000 steps per day that run is not included in that. So I now have to work out how many steps I did on that run and take that off my daily steps because my daily steps will always be separate to my cardio. So yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm gonna eat in a bit. Probably this, if you watch a full day of eating the, I, that I've done, I dropped a couple of days ago, I'll just be having the bagel uh, with omelette uh, and spinach. So with the almond butter, so yeah. Other than that, I'm gonna sign out, I'm waffling. And uh, yeah, enjoy the sunshine and I'll see you, well technically I won't see you tomorrow, but I'll be videoing again tomorrow and that will be a upper session. So it is shoulder focus with one back exercise. So yeah, that's one of a uh, nice tasty pump that session. So yeah, let's get into it. Like, comment and subscribe and I hope you enjoy this mini series.